Okie dokie, everybody. Welcome back. You're here at the Fox Den with Peter Voss, the Papa Fox. And we're going to continue playing Tyranny on Tyranny Tuesdays. I'm nearing the completion for Tooth and Tail, so this will actually take over Tooth and Tail's slot once I finish the, the, the campaign mode for that. I'm not getting too many views or uh, likes on either this one or on Pillars of Eternity, so... Um, once an, uh, I see a new game that looks interesting come out, I might push Pillars of Eternity onto Tuesdays, and I might replace that with a you know a bit, a bit more of a shorter term game. So I think it might work well that I have uh, a long term game and a short term game on the cooker, as it were. So when we last left off, we had met uh, one of our new compatriots. Ooh, looks like oh, we can speak with them. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Sorry, uh, we had met this person, and they are part of the uh, Scarlet Chorus, I think? I, I can't remember the names too well right now. It's been a while since I recorded. There are a lot of family things uh, to be done. Ooh, Stealth Toggle. <gasps> Ooh, you can select all party members, and we can have custom formations. Okay, well, let's speak to this person. You should loot some of these bodies before moving on. Where they're going, I don't think they'll miss their gear. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, hey, cool. An empty spike stands waiting to claim its next victim. Ew. Weapons and armor are strewn haphazardly around the cart. Every blade shows signs of rust, and every piece of armor is in need of repair. Right. Well, let's go down and help our fellow people. Actually, let's first take a look at what this person is up to. Okay, so... Attributes, uh, might, quickness... Finesse. Okay, so this is a finesse fighter, and it looks like they are doing the dual-wielding thing. And wouldn't you know it, they have a weapon in either hand, and they have a bow. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. Okay, enough with that. Let's see what we can see. Uh, several skulls bleached by the sun and picked clean by carrion birds are spiked on a roughly hewn post. It is the only heraldry the Scarlet Chorus needs. Yes, I got the name correct. <laughs> the symbol of the Scarlet Chorus is smeared in blood on the tattered cloth tent. No effort has been made to repair the gaping tears. Oh, here we go. Tarkus Demos. Eyes forward, no looking back. The Vendrian guard warrior roars with his falx blade held high. His words largely lost over the din of combat. Uh, the Falks is an enduring symbol of military life in the tears, adapted from the agrarian size of Azir. This curved blade was in ages past. The weapon peasants forced uh, the weapon of peasants forced into battle. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's a neat little bit of flavor. Stand aside, or your funeral will be over the side of the bluff. Seeing you squarely in his path, the soldier points his weapon your way. I applaud your bravery, but I implore you to end this foolish foolishness and lay down your arms. There's no escape, for, and for Oathbreakers, no surrender. Uh, I'm not the no surrender kind of person, you know. It kind of we're here to take over this land and not to just like kill everybody. So there we go. Not a chance. If I surrender, I'm as good as dead. At least we can drag some of Kyrus's chosen along our short journey to the void. As he signals his men to charge, the sound of chanting rises from the south, drawing his attention. Scarlet Chorus reinforcements! Hurry! Ah, I think we're going to get a wizard character. Mocking Blaze. Run down the Oathbreakers, let none escape. From the red mob of reinforcements from the south, a blood chanter emerges at the head of the rabble, the ornamental crest of her staff pulsing with crimson tones. Signing sigils of magic and, wordless move, uh, and wordlessly moving her mouth, the blood chanter scribes a series of spells into the air. A red glow surrounds the Vendrian guard, uh, the Vendrian guard warriors as the chanter's magic worms its way into their minds, blinding them with her rage. Hold position, all of you. You there, keep to the path. The warrior gestures uh, along the canyon trail, but his soldiers turn their attention to the Scarlet Chorus, roaring challenges. No! Don't engage them! We need to run! His order is falling on deaf ears. The warrior reluctantly readies his weapon. Well, there we go. 
I think we got this. Let's pause and attack. Uh, Titans touch. Warriors respite. Blood soaked stone. Yeah, let's get this guy out of the way with a combo attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, Smacker. Smackeroonie. And we're going to thrust into him, so to speak. Oh, hey, he's going to thrust into him. Come on. There we go. Oh. Holy moly, how did that happen? Wow. Burning iron. Launching a burning arrow that sets the, the, the... Let's go ahead and do that. I can't believe we actually fell in battle. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, healing potion. Not spear. Let's, go. let's give us a healing potion. I should have been paying better attention. Wow. <laughs> Talk about getting lost in the thick of battle. Oh. There we go. Now we are up, up, up. Ah, who's this uh, person? Crescent Runner. Come, quick! We have a situation on the cliffside. They have the commander. Oh, there we go. I have been wounded. Oh, okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and loot this person. See what we can get. Uh, broken Fox. Ah, and as I suspected, there's loot to be found. And we got fruits and a head wrap. Okay, cool. Weapons in our uh, stacked with neat precision on this transport cart. Every spear is honed and oiled, ready for battle. Okay, cool. We got some sky cap. Ooh. Looks like uh, that's like a mushroom that'll help us. Cool. Kiros ordered the original icon of the disfavored erased from memory. For. I know a thing or two about it. Uh, the disfavored have kept the scratched out iconography with pride. Okay, let's see what this person has to say. Couldn't help but notice you were eyeballing the disfavored symbol littered about the camp. It's hardly a symbol, just a scroll. Well, that's true, but uh, it used to be the pride of Graven Ashes Legion before Kyrus made them deface it. And what happened? What has it that Ash has been under more scrutiny than the other Archons, seeing as he took a stand against Kyrus in the past? Even though he bent the knee in the end, that doesn't place him above suspicion. Kyrus and the other Archons keep him on the tight leash. Ash's troops were impressed in the growing and um, were, were impressed in the uh, Ash's troops impressed the growing empire, but Kyrus made them sacrifice everything they were up to the uh, everything they were up to the point Ash surrendered. They've been disfavored ever since and fighting to earn back their honor. I guess that's why you don't cross the Overlord. Kyrus holds a grudge with a mean jealous streak. Well, I've heard enough. I don't blame you. Compared to the Skylord Chorus, the disfavored are about as interesting as hard labor. <laughs> well, there we go. Let's see what we have. Okay, I can talk with that person, and I can also loot this person. When in doubt, always loot. Vendrian Heavy Guard Greaves. There we go. Let's see what do we have. Party Stash. Okay. Ceremonial Fate Binder uh, of Tunon Boots. This will give me more armor. Minus. Okay. Let's go with that. Okay. Ah. Okay. Let's. I, I need to figure this out. Okay. So defenses. Endurance defense armor too. Okay, let's see what happens here. Twenty-one, seventeen, 
21. Okay, so I actually want to wear this. So this will actually tell me that if I wear, like, this will give me plus armor? No, it's, oh, that's deflection. Okay, well, let's, let's take a look at the combination again. Okay, this gives me better deflection, but about the same armor. So let's actually take a look here. Ah, oh, neat. Okay, cool. Awesome. Can talk to this person. What are you doing? You'll draw attention to me. Okay, cool. Well, there's nothing to do there. This uh, torn batter bears the scratched out icon of the disfavored. The army's original symbol has been... Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, cool. There we go. Pelox Tyrell. Stow your weapons or we find out how long a man screams before hitting the ravine down below. Cornered between a precip uh, precipitous drop and a band of angry soldiers, the Oathbreaker warrior holds a disfavored officer at knife point. Skewer him! Don't worry about me! Gravenasher will protect! The disfavored officer winces, blood seeping from the seams of his bracers and cuirass. Cuirass. There we go. Mocking blaze. You heard the man. He plainly invited you to use that little blade of yours. What are you waiting for? Permission from your pimp? This blade? With a jerk of the knife, he slices off a clump of uh, Drastus' uh, matted hair. If you're so eager to see your ally dead, just step closer. Uh, and rest the knife from him. Oh, minor favor, minor favor from both. Uh, minor wrath. Okay, well, since we have this option, let's go ahead and just get the knife from him. You've gained 69 athletic skill experience. Cool! The Oathbreaker cracks a wide smile as you lower your weapon. That's right. Now the rest of you, drop those weapons. With his attention on the other warriors, you dash forward. He reaches out with his dagger to slay Drastus, but your hand is already on his wrist. With a wrenching twist, you mangle his hand, dropping the dagger harmlessly on the ground. The disfavored warrior rushes forward. Uh, the disfavored warriors rush forward from either side of you. Tyrell barely manages a strained gasp before being hacked and impaled upon their swords and spears. Well, try <laughs> tried to handle that uh, peacefully, but uh, <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Kyros be praised. That Oathbreaker fought with the rage of Cairn himself. The mountainous Archon of Stone accompanied the disfavored on the conquest of the Tears. His temper and proclivity towards destructive solutions often branded him a liability to the otherwise orderly takeover, but his powers were not easily dismissed. During the Azure campaign, Cairn went on a rampage, declaring himself independent of Kyros, and the conquest... An, awful, an unlawful sham. Kyros drafted the Edict of Stone to put an end to the rebellious Archon, and his petrified corpse rests in the ruins of Azir to this day. Drastus slides a trembling hand along the cut on his neck. Thank you, Fatebinder. I thought today was my last. From the look of it, I guess they thought it if they swarmed the pass, maybe one might make it out. We found a few scraps of parchment in, on the bodies. Drastus holds out a handful of crumpled parchment, uh, parchments for your inspection. Literacy is rare in the Northern Empire, where the disfavored are born and trained. The time spent, uh, time spent reading and writing, after all, is not time spent sparring and readying one's body and mind for battle. A student of letters such as yourself should be uh, better able to make sense of this. Uh, all that training, uh, very minor wrath, no, okay. F examine the parchment. Repeating the same messages in uh, different written scripts, the parchment explains the Vendrian guards' desire to overthrow Kyros' archons and rout their armies from the tears. The pages aren't addressed to any specific reader, but rather openly invites all who remain loyal to the younger realms. Oh, these are the ones who are, who are conquered. Okay. To gather at Vendrian's, ve Vendrian's well. Recruiting ma recruitment material. They were trying to bring more traitors to the fight. 
well, <laughs> from the look of it, we kept them from slipping out of the valley. Whatever they hoped to accomplish, I think their plan died here. The Archons are expecting you. When, you re when you're ready, leave uh, by the gate to the southeast and follow the trails down slope for a few hours. You'll see the campfires uh, leagues away. Can't miss it. Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and loot this man. Okay, cool. Uh, honored guards, folks. There we go. Take all. Ooh, what's that? Quick fingers bangles. Right click for details. Haste. Plus one quickness. Okay, cool. Take all. Let's go ahead and equip that then. Haha. -ha. And for you. Two handed. Oh, let's see if that's better than ours. Huh. Okay. Bronze great sword says we get a. Uh, and now this. Let's see here. Right. Okay. So this. Okay. Accuracy for the. Okay. Fourteen to eighteen. And then. 12 to 16. Okay, so we want the Falx. Okay, cool. So I think what this means is that uh, if we trade this out for the Bronze Great Sword, we'll get uh, negative DPS and negative accuracy. I think. I think, right? Let's take a look at this. Bronze Greatsword, DPS 3.18, 3.64. Okay, yes, we will want that. Uh, sorry, I, I, I sometimes get a little bit turned around when things like this happen. Let me give a check to the old ticker to see how much time we have. Okay, cool. Ooh, we can talk with... Oh, hey. The once pure water of Queen uh, Lyceris's tears has run red with blood since Kyros's forces invaded. Oh, hey, we can talk with her. Fatebinder. Aura salutes you as you approach. We are honored by your presence. Need something? What's the situation here in Vendrian's Well? The Oathbreakers hold the citadel at the heart of the valley, the one built around the base of the spire. Aura points east towards the tower in the distance. The Matani River has been our largest headache during the siege. It's unsafe for armored troops to ford, save for at key locations, and the enemy knows this as well as we do. I know we'd be uh, a lot better along if the Scarlet Chorus used its alleged strength in numbers to ford the river themselves and overwhelm the enemy. Uro looks at Verse with a uh, disapproving air. As it is, we must take the valley slowly and advance the disfavored bulwark, since that's where the real work gets done verse. Because all it takes is numbers to cross a river and under a hail of arrows. If the disfavored were quick to act, maybe the Vendrian guard wouldn't be so so trained up to face us. Disfavored verse gain average fear. Aura is correct. The slow advance will run out. Mm, average favor. Gain favor. Gain loyalty. Okay, so we're going to want this one, I think. Uh, because we have lore. If either of you was correct, the campaign would be over, and I wouldn't be here. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. You learn something every day. Uh, fair point. The Legion is eager to gain some perspective on our quarrels. Consequently, I retract my previous remark. Really? Because I don't. Next time you say something, try to mean it. How long have you been with the Disfavored? Seven years? She pauses to count on her fingers. Two two seasons, mayhap a handful of days. I trained at Fort Resolution a bit before the conquest. Compared to the commanders you find around camp or stationed at Ironhearth, that makes me one of the young bloods. This has been a long and grueling campaign, but the end is in sight. We'll soon have the Oathbreakers back under our control. 
Then we can rest, retrain, and even cycle out troops so we can see our families again. What can you tell me of the Vendrian Guard? They are the last gasp of the younger realms. Among them are warriors that escaped the bastard city siege, a few refugees from other victories, and uh, a bunch of Vendrian locals with delusions of independence. These southern wastrels cannot match our iron, nor the chorus's numbers. Uh, what on Taratus gave them the nerve to rise up for a second helping of battle is, be is anyone's guess. Uh, seen anything interesting during the war? I once saw a forge-bound artisan set himself on fire. Occupational hazard. <laughs> that was an unpleasant day, the first of many, to be honest. I wasn't there to watch you proclaim the Edict of Storms, but I saw the devastation hit stalwart and take several cohorts of disfavored with it. She squeezes her eyes shut and shakes her head. Well, carry on. She taps her gauntlet to her breastplate and salute. Have a pleasant siege, fate binder. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, hey, cool. We can level up. Now we have unspent talent points. When you reach a level, you can increase one of your character's attributes. Might, finesse, quickness, wits, vitality, or resolve. Each of these attributes provides benefits to you, do, 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 as well as increase to your my, more skills. Increasing an attribute costs one point until the attribute score reaches 19. To raise an attribute from 19 to 20 requires two attribute points. Okay. One point. Okay, let's see how we have everything distributed. Okay, accuracy, deflection, bonus health, will defense, affliction, duration, what was this was resolve, endurance, will, okay. Spell strength. Okay, and that's quickness. Uh, minus three, ability and spell cooldown. We want... Okay. Let's see, one point, uh, plus three attack and ability strength, plus three endurance defense. Let's go with that. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, and these things. Level up bonus. Okay. Right. What does clicking this thing do? Locking skill growth will prevent the character from gaining experience in this skill through normal... Oh! Okay. Well, we're actually going to keep these up. Because that's kind of useful. And we are going to do that. So, save. Save. Let's see what we have here. Petra Vos... Petra Vos talent. One point. Okay. Leadership. Requirements level three. Oh, leadership might be kind of neat. Uh, we're not doing defense. We're going to be for power, but let's see what else we have. There's agility, magic. Okay, cool. Awesome. But we only have... Uh, oh, one point spent in power tree. Okay. Adds armor penetration to the thrust ability. Increases accuracy. Perform powerful palm strike. New stance. Mighty. Penetrate foes. Okay, cool. That's actually kind of neat. Sunder. And stance blitz. Focuses on rapid strikes to overwhelm an opponent. Hmm. I think we're actually going to do armor penetration. There we go. Safe. Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead. And let's see here. Oh, right. Oh, uh, there we go. Huh. Well, I think we're going to call that an end of the episode right now. If you've enjoyed, go ahead and feel free to hit that like button. Uh, if you, of course, uh, want to give me some feedback, that's also much appreciated. Um, of course, if also, if you like the rest of my uh, channel's uh, uh, videos, go ahead and subscribe. It's great to see you all here at the Fox Den. I hope you'll come back for next Tuesday and pull up a chair for some more tyranny. Alrighty, you take care now. Bye.